Hi, it's Allison. I've been a math teacher for 15 years, and today I want to show you how to find the equation of a line in slope-intercept form. So it takes two points to define a line. So let's use these two points, the point 3, negative 5, and the point 6, 2. Now, slope-intercept form looks like this, y equals mx plus b. So m is the slope, b is the y-intercept, where the line crosses the y-axis. So the first thing we need to do is find the slope. So I'm going to use my two points here to find my slope. Slope is equal to the difference in the y-coordinates over the difference in the x-coordinates. So I'm going to take this y-coordinate 2, and I have to subtract my other y-coordinate from it, negative 5. And then on the bottom, we take the difference in the x-coordinates. Now, since I took this y-coordinate first, I need to make sure I use this x-coordinate first on the bottom so that my slope has the right sign. So on the bottom, I get the difference in my x-coordinate 6 minus 3. 2 minus negative 5 is the same as 2 plus 5, so that's 7. And 6 minus 3 is just 3. So the slope of the line that joins these two points is going to be 7 thirds. So, so far this is what I have. y equals 7 thirds x plus b. Now we need to find b, the y-intercept, and this is how you do that. So, so far what we have is y equals 7 thirds x plus b. So I'm going to take one of the points that I used to find the slope and plug it into this equation and solve for b. So let's use the point 3, negative 5. Now, it doesn't actually matter which point you use. Both of those points will solve this equation, but I'm just going to pick this one and do it. Okay, so I put the negative 5 in for my y, and then I put 3 in for x, and plus b. b is what I'm trying to find. Okay, so I have negative 5 equals. Now, this 7 thirds here, uh, my 3's will cancel out, so I actually just have a 7 plus b. Okay, so now I just need to solve for b. I can subtract 7 from both sides, and I get that b equals negative 12. So the equation of this line is y equals 7 thirds x minus 12. So you need two points. You have to use those two points to first find your slope. And then you plug either one of those points into the equation and solve for b to get the y-intercept. Thanks for learning with me today. If you'd like more information on any of the topics, click on the links below. And be sure to rate, comment, or subscribe to our channel. If you have a specific request, please send it to requests at mahalo.com. I'll see you next time.